Hello YouTube, hope you guys are doing well today and welcome to yet another video on this channel. If you guys are new, this channel is all about bodyweight exercises, ring exercises, and in general getting fit while only using your body weight. Something that we really need, especially uh, in these times that we're living right now, because all the gyms are closed and stuff, so yeah. So if you guys watched my last video, you probably know that I like to start my uh, workout with some skin the cats this movement that, that I did there right now and that my friend is about to do so it's a really good movement to stretch your shoulders and lubricate them so that they get primed and ready for the workout in this clip right here I decided to do some L sit holds because I was like why not I was like how much can I hold an L sit for and probably held it for like 15 seconds with good form we happy about that very satisfied about this uh, progress yes ah. so this is probably the first movement of the workout the first official exercise this movement right here is called the uh, front lever raise it is a lat exercise where you pretty much pull your entire your entire body weight with your lats. So as if you guys notice, my arms are straight and I'm not using any momentum to like shift myself up. Instead, I am only using my back, my lats, to pull myself up. And on the way down, I'm really contracting my back to like slow the drop as much as I can. So that I can work on my lats as much as I can and get some more hy hypertrophy, hypertrophy to the movement. So it's a really good uh, movement if you guys want to get a wide back. I really recommend it. It's probably my best uh, movement to do. I did it for like six months or so. So my friend here is about to perform it. He started with a tucked position, then he slowly, gradually uh, let his legs out in front of him to make it more difficult. So the second exercise I did is called a half pelican push-up. This movement right here is basically a push-up, but when you go to the bottom position, you wow. go really, really deep, stretching out your chest and pulling up with your bicep. So this movement alone is uh, probably activating almost all your upper body. So it activates your chest, your uh, shoulders, your biceps, your abs, and a little bit of lats. So this single movement is insane for your entire upper body. I really recommend it. As you guys can see, I'm struggling to do like five to six, and I am no beginner, guys. I've been training in the gym for like the past four to five years. So that shows how difficult these uh, ring exercises are. This uh, third exercise I did here is uh, the ring fly. It's basically a chest fly uh, where you isolate your chest and make only your chest work. So in this, I'm not gonna lie, in this uh, movement you're supposed to have your arms straight. But as you guys can see, I'm bending my arms a little bit because I am compensating for how difficult this exercise is. Honestly, this exercise is no joke. That's why I'm bending my arms a little bit to get like three or four more reps. Because if, my, if I have my arms straight, I can't perform it. So this movement right here is my favorite movement out of all the exercises in the ring simply because look how cool that is man look how cool i look boys it's insane like it makes me defy gravity it makes me feel like i'm defying gravity so basically this is a back thickness exercise this exercise works on uh, your back thickness so in this clip you guys can see how much uh, my fibers are activating so my bicep here is activating, my shoulder is activating a little bit, and if my friend went a little down, you guys can see how much my back activated. So this uh, exercise is the Bulgarian dip. It's basically for chest and shoulders. 
I decided to do it because it's the less uh, movement, like the less major movement for chest, and then like it's only accessory movement from there. So I did like about uh, three sets of eight to ten, and then that was it. In this clip, I decided to pose a little bit to show off them gains. I think I look pretty good, but I still need to work on some things. Yeah. So we're nearing the end of the workout, boys. Uh, this is a shoulder movement. It's like a handstand push-up, but it's easier because I have my I have my legs like elevated on a platform. So if I had if I was on a handstand position, it would be a lot harder. But I still, it was still difficult for me, as you guys can see, I was struggling. So it's time to do some biceps here. I decided to do some pelican uh, curls. I mean, I don't even need to explain it. You guys can see how much my biceps are activating. It's insane how this exercise is so overlooked by the uh, body weight, like the calisthenics community. I rarely see anyone do this exercise. I did three sets to failure for this exercise, and that was it for biceps. This is the last exercise of the workout. It's for my tricep. I decided to do a close grip dip to activate my tricep a little bit. So I did three sets of that, and that was a wrap for the workout. So we have arrived at the end of this video. If you guys made it this far, I thank you. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, and have a great day. See ya. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs>